Hi, this is Richard with another quick tip um, Blender video for you. We're going to be talking about something that I didn't know how to do until I started doing these videos. It's the knife project button. I was talking about the tool shelf over here in edit mode and came across knife project and I didn't know how to use it properly. Well, I, that bugged me, so I went and I figured it out. And now I'm back to tell you how to use it. So, knife project. We have the normal knife and you can just draw a line through it and click and then hit enter. And now we've cut through our box and you can even see these are individual faces now it's a really handy way to divide faces um, how you want them and something else I should point out about knife real quick is that once you start it you can hit C to lock it to angles per your perspective it's all based on your perspective see now it's 45 now it's uh, straight up and down that would be 270, that would be 90, what's that, 180, you know, 360 or 0. I guess that would be 45. But uh, I just want to point that out as well. You hit C to constrain it to um, a line. But knife project. So, how do we use this? Well, first, let's undo that. Because I want to subdivide this a few times so you can see what's going on. We're going to go into object mode and then just for the sake of showing this to you I'm going to add a plane or a cube doesn't matter tab into edit mode and delete the vertices because that's going to leave an extra object up here since you can only delete objects in object mode. So since I deleted it in edit mode I now have an empty object with nothing in it but a little orange origin. So now I'm going to go to one and go to front view and if I'm in vertex mode, I can just hold control and click. I hit Z to go into wireframe because I'm going to be drawing this inside of the cube just because that's where uh, everything's drawn on the center of the world. Pretty much uh, when you go into a perfect view. All right, I have a completed spiral turn that transform tool off real quick just to do that so that i can merge these there we go i've got a full loop now if I hit alt and right click you can see the whole thing and let me turn on my screencast keys real quick i always forget to do that uh i don't know why uh, sorry if it really bugs you uh complain about it i guess and maybe i'll try to start doing better about turning that on before i start recording now you can see i drew this inside of the box so let's turn our transform tool back on and just move it outside of the box so that when I go in the front view, you can see this on the front. Now, knife project. We want to cut this shape out of this box. And this is based on the perspective that we're looking at it. So first, make sure you're in object mode. You can tell right down here, I'm in object mode. I'm gonna select my tool to cut, my cookie cutter. Then I'm going to hold shift and then select what I'm cutting, my cube. So then I'm going to tab into edit mode, and since I selected my cube last, it was actively selected. So I'm going to go into my cube's edit mode. But you see how my cookie cutter, my spiral, stayed orange? And this is going to cut it based on our perspective. So let's go into front ortho, this perfect mode, or this perfect perspective, and then we're just going to hit knife project. Bam, and that's it. Now, let's just move this away a little bit and go back into our cube, you can see, go into vertex mode, that it has cut that shape out. And everywhere that it's needed to, it's made it into individual faces. So this is really handy if you want to do something complex. You could even do this with, um, you could do this with uh, curves and then turn the curve into a mesh using Alt-C. Well, you would do that here. Alt C. You can change a mesh to a curve or a curve to a mesh. So you could do this knife project with a curve and get a much nicer, cleaner um, shape out of it. You can do this with almost anything. Uh, that's a mesh. You could make letters and then project them onto a cube and then extrude it. See, now that I've got this, let's go into edge mode. I can select this all since it's a closed loop. And we'll go into vertex mode and we'll hit C. And then I'll just use my 
circle select to paint in all of these vertices. Whoops, I chose the wrong way. All right. So. Oop. All right, I don't want those. I want these in here. And now something I do want to say about Knife Project is that it can make pretty ugly topology. You might have to go back in here and redo some of this because uh, there's triangles next to quads, next to n-gons. Look at this one here. There's a triangle cut out of this quad, making it an n-gon. A quad is any four-sided polygon. A tri is any three-sided polygon. Triangles and n-gons uh, can cause some problems when it comes to shading and animating. And it's just generally thought of as bad for... Uh, as bad topology. And now you can see because I selected everything inside of that loop I can just move this in and create a nice um, relief. I mean you can do all sorts of things. That was just my first thought to demonstrate this to you. Actually I want to hang on to that for a second to show you something here at the end. Now you can see I have a complex shape and that was pretty easy to do. I didn't have to go in there and deform this mesh too very much and use the knife tool. I just used knife project to cut out the shape that I had made very quickly. And then we can make it nicer, you know, whoops. <laughs> I don't know if that's nicer. See what bad topology does when you try to apply modifiers to it? It gets really ugly. <laughs> really fast. Uh, there we go. I guess that's a little bit better. But it's because we had bad topology, the computer didn't know exactly how to subdivide everything, so you get this really weird stuff in here. And that's why you would retopologize. And then even if we hit smooth, it's gonna look weird. Because the shading doesn't know how to go across some of these ingons and triangles in here where it's all pinched. So let's get rid of that. And now I want to show you one last thing. Since this is a quick tip, we're going to keep it quick. This is really based on your perspective. I just wanted to highlight that real quick. Now I have just a different perspective. And let's go into edit mode. And then I project. See how it just cut that out. And then I project. And it's really making a mess here. You can see it's all based on perspective, where it cuts out. So you have to be very careful how you use that. And also notice that it doesn't affect the back face. Now, if we did this in wireframe mode, it still doesn't affect the back face. So understand it only affects the front faces as you're using them. All right, that's all I wanted to say about Knife Project. You can see how quickly it can mess up your topology and make a lot of ugly stuff, but it can also be really useful for doing very specific things. Thanks for watching.